But this is what I gotta say to all the haters, or maybe to people that that just kind of find Jake. We. Uh, hey yo, what's good? I'm here uh, on this empty parking garage, and we're about to film a banger, so it's gonna be Liddy. This is gonna be our scene for the It's Everyday Bro parody. We got some pretty cool scenery there, there, and we even have some donut marks from people doing donuts, so. Yeah, that's our set for the shoot. It's gonna be Liddy, like Nick Crompton would say. Woohoo! I feel so hyped, I need to get energized for this. I'm getting so hyped. Anyways, let's get the filming done. It's every vlog, bro, with no Disney Channel flow. I took more than one take, so they said I had to go with love. All the haters, man. I'm Logan. Logan Paul. My hair's like Donald Trump's, except it's not blonde. My Maverick shirt just uh, kind of ripped, so hey, Logan, if you're watching this, send me some to my P.O. box, please. Shameless plug, I need free clothes. Merch link in bio. Don't, don't forget about that. Always want to do this. Okay, sorry, sorry. I keep on getting stopped by security, not because I'm filming, but because I'm just doing stupid stuff for this music video. So I'm gonna bounce from this, uh, wherever this is, but, uh, let's just try to get some of that footage. This would have been a cool area to film, though. Ah, uh, gotta keep grinding, gotta keep working hard. We can finish this music video. Uh, let's get it. Okay, so Jake Paul, by the way, I'm on my third day of shooting here, so that explains the the suit. But I'm sweating my balls off, grinding to make this video happen, and uh, all I've been seeing these past few days is videos and rants on Jake Paul. And his name is literally taking over the YouTube community. And a lot of that is pretty negative. I mean, we got doxing. Right now, we're about to hand deliver it to his house. He lives like 45 minutes away. We're gonna give him his merch. Hopefully, he's home. We got his fake personality. Super fire. Let's do that. There's stories about how he just ditches other creators. Or there's there's a bunch of stories. There's a bunch of drama out there. Uh, that's another story for another day. By the way, I just want to touch a bit on the doxing, though. A lot of people don't really know what that is. And it's pretty much where you take personal information and leak it out onto the internet. And it's usually legal, except in Jake's case, because he went to FanJoy that's supposed to keep your information private. And then he used that and made a video show showing Post Malone's neighborhood in front of what, like, like almost 9 million Jake Paulers. That's a lot of people now, okay? But if you clicked on this video, you're probably a Jake Pauler at heart, or you just got triggered because you absolutely hate Jake Paul and you, you just don't see how you could uh, ever like Jake Paul. I don't know why I did quotation marks. But this is what I gotta say to all the haters, or maybe to people that, that just kind of find Jake. I can fully understand and it has to do with his intentions and I, I know that's very blunt to say but he's done a lot we all know he's killing the game all of his videos are getting recommended people making videos about him is getting recommended I need, I need views I'm sorry I need I need views I need views make sure to stay tuned for my it's every day bro parody I've, I've been putting a lot of effort in it bro <laughs> it's gonna get no views unless if I put Jake Paul in the title but yes his intentions and him as a person he's killing the game news channels have been going to his house fans have been going to his house like hundreds like I have one question for you. Yeah. What are those? <laughs> I guess he didn't like my shoes. It's crazy. Logan Paul went to VidCon and it was and it was like an apocalypse. I wouldn't even imagine what would happen if Jake Paul went there. So pretty much we all know he's on a whole other level. And with that power comes great responsibility. Great power comes great responsibility. And that is very true because he's changed lives to a bunch of people. Everyone in Team 10. Alyssa Violet, which I guess she used to be in Team 10. Uh, but not just them, like people that he's never even met. He has changed lives of just because of his name. Just because of those two words. Jake Paul. A few examples of that is uh, two people that I saw do rants and just completely blow up off of Jake Paul. Cavos and Marky. They're, they're like two British or Irish or... I'm sorry. I don't know where they're from. England is my city. England is my city. 
city. That's it. That's it. You know what? That's fine. Now I know there's other people that have done rants on them, but like I've really seen those two like pop in just because of Jake Paul. And they've gained thousands of subs subscribers from it. Pretty litty. And then of course you see YouTubers like Comedy Shorts Gamer and uh, PewDiePie use their name for views. The most subscribed channel on YouTube with over 50 million subscribers has been making reaction videos to the one and only Jake Paul. <laughs> Why does he talk like that? Now that is quite sad if, if I say so myself. I, I don't know about you guys. I think Jake Paul has become a trend. That's how big he's become. It's just like fidget spinners. It went on the news. Every single bloody YouTuber has been using his name for views. People have been coming with creative titles about it. Like him getting arrested or swatting or that. I mean, some of the stuff is true, but. Oh! Also, this is my second time recording because my mic was turned off. But I wanted to mention to all the people that, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure most people left by now. But but to the people that just dislike Jake Paul to pieces, especially for his fake personality, I can kind of understand him having his own fake personality, the same as people doing fake pranks out there. It's trash, it really is. But then he's also trying to appeal to a younger audience, to kids. That's where the views are at, I guess. He does his little Disney personality. Well, he does act like a 16 year old in every single one of his vids, which is kind of ironic because he left Disney to have more adult acting roles, yet he acts like a 14 year old in front of a camera on YouTube don't know how that helps you in a in any way felt like the Disney role suited you much better but we all know why he left because he couldn't handle it with the daily vlogs and stuff and he you know he probably gets paid more with the daily vlogs than he does with Disney now but nevertheless I did mention pranks and how like fake prank fake pranks I understand why people do it it's for the entertainment him having a fake personality it's for the entertainment people do fake pranks because they get good reactions out of it because it's easy to film each time I make pranks it takes hours upon hours to film and edit and all my pranks are still real and they will always will be and it's such a shame because it's hard to get good reactions out of like a real prank of course it depends on the person you're pranking and what the pranks on but I'm just rambling on now I'd love to know what you guys think about this if you guys are Jake Paulers if you guys hate Jake Paul if you guys are in the low gang I mean I'll also be honest I don't think anyone would have watched my behind the scenes of it's everyday bro so I guess I had to add this rant to gain views your boy needs the views your point is the view. YouTube revenue is on all time low, okay? Please understand. I'll, I'll go jump off that cliff now.